Hello YouTube land, it's Sarah and it's time for another adventure of being Sarah. What do you do when you decide because of the bad weather that you're really worried about flooding and being able to get home and so you panic because everybody's like, oh, this road's closed, that road's closed. And then you're like, am I going to be able to get home? What? And you're told you can leave. And so you do and you get home and... You normally, it would be about now that I would be getting ready to leave for home. Um, but anyway, so what is it that you do? Why well, film floss tube number 15? And I'm thinking of calling it Stuff and Things because I had Stuff and Things. I don't really remember exactly everything that I showed and didn't show in my last update video because that was in the before time in the long, long ago. August 12th. Or something. August something or other. I don't know, 12th, 21st, something like that. That was in the before time. Anyway, so I've mainly but just been doing work, a lot of work, trying to tackle Face of Fairy 161 because, yeah, I should have started it on the 100th anniversary of the start of World War One, but I didn't really have that much of a stitchy bug to to do both 99 and 161. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so I am really trying to get through this, but who knows if I'll make my goal. Oh well. So I'm actually going to move this down to here so I can quickly get to where I'm trying to go. So, good. When you have two magazines and you can't remember which is the one from that you just bought not that long ago, yeah, that's me. So I didn't really have all that many new starts. I had a few, but not many. And two of those new starts are both on the Guardian Stitch Along. I have not finished either of them. I have not finished September or October. I know, I'm really bad. But I have been working really hard on 161, which you'll just have to wait to see here. But... So we've got January through August, and uh, this is the darkest color of both August, or September and October. Um, and of course, November will be here, and my goal, of course, is to um, take enough time to start the darkest color on November, and then finish up 161, and then fly through them so that I can be ready for December 1st for the last piece. And I need help um, figuring out how to make it into a clock, because I think this would be a really, really cool clock, because you've got the 12 guardians, and it would just be really, really cool. So, yeah, that's definitely not in the finishes. <laughs> well, I can only... I only have so many hours per day to stitch, and only so much. I can only stitch so much. Oh well. So down that goes. Another new start that I have is this year I decided instead of um, socks that I was going to knit, because I just don't have that, I just don't have a knit, a knitty bug that this year. It just, it just isn't floating my boat, so to speak. Um, so I decided I was going to do ornaments. Um, and the ornament that I decided to do for the exchange is on the same page is on the same page as the one I'm going to do for my mom. It's the ornament exchange. Doesn't look anything like that because I do not have that fabric. Oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and show both at the same time. So here is 
I decided to do mom's. She liked these three colors. This is these are actually from 161. So we've got 500. 367 and 704 and I decided I'm trying out 28 over 1 with one strand and I really like how this is turning out this is this is as wide it's gonna as it's gonna be and it'll be a little bit further under here of course I still have there's little little crosses to go in the corners um, so that should when I get a chance to stitch that, that should go pretty fast. Um, and while we're talking about the uh, the ornaments, um, look away if you're if you're possibly an exchange one. But uh, I still have to turn it into the. Well, that was lovely. <laughs> Gravity. Um, I still have to turn it into the ornament, but um, and I'm not sure if you can tell. There is actually sparkly um, I wanted to do it all in this this sparkly very dark blue but I realized I was not gonna have enough <laughs> I got most of like this bottom outline which is this this lighter color and I was like hmm that's not going to <laughs> it's not gonna fill the whole piece so I don't remember what colors I used it's kind of TARDIS blue. I don't know. Something like that. <clears throat> so I was like, yeah, that'll work. And then I, speaking of ornaments, I know I had mentioned this last time. And that was one that um, I stitched for the boyfriend um, because he now likes Doctor Who. He didn't until... Um, he watched some with me, and he's like, oh, this is much better than I thought. And now he's like, it's back. It's like, yes, trust the Sarah. The Sarah's right. But yes, I'm very, very pleased with this. Um, this is a sand-colored 20-count Lugano. 20-count? Yeah. I think it's sand. Yeah. It was the leftovers from the piece that I did, um, uh, Hades Strength. I did think for a second, um, because I decided um, with courage <coughs> that I would stitch it on black twin count Lugano so that I could then omit the stitch the black stitches because there was a lot of black stitches. There's a lot of eight seventeen on that one, just in case you ever get the des desire to stitch that. There's it's a lot, but uh, I didn't I, I didn't leave any of the stitches out on the on the other one but I wanted a fabric that would go with that one so I, I got in this particular one and I have just a little bit left so yeah trying to uh, trying to retrieve things and then the other new start that I have Oh, excuse me. Is uh, Hayes Faces of Fairy 168. Obviously, it's just black and white, but she's it's mostly skin tone. And she's got um, brown eyes, and her lips are blue, and she's playing a flute. So, of course, I was like, yes, please. Of course, I'm, I'm going to be yes, please, anyway, because... It's a one of the face of the fairies, so therefore I have to stitch it. And I had started um, the September Guardian and this one um, during Michelle Bendy's live sale. So I got a little bit done on each one of them. I got a little bit more done later um, for September Guardian. But I have no deadline with this one, so here's my massive start. Yeah, I know. I may have gotten 20 stitches in there, but still, that counts. So those are, those are the colors that I pulled. There's a lot of 310 in this one as well. I don't remember off the top of my head. I shall look it up in just a moment. 
If I get distracted over there, it's because Law and Order's on on mute. So I can still I can still tell what's going on because I have the captioning on, but I don't have the, don't have the sound. So if you're like, well, I can't hear anything. Okay, so 161 has 14,420 something stitches of 310. This has only 9,111 stitches. It's like a breeze to get through that. But our hair is all, all the, all the hair is black. Sixty-eight. Um, so that was that was my new starts, and yeah, that was also a finish. But uh, didn't really, I didn't really have any very many. Wow, very many finishes. I did get a uh, a nice picture of uh, the birth sampler that I had sent off to my friends who live out in California. Um, she got it framed for her son and it looks great. They put it in just a plain white frame, but very tasteful, really pretty. I don't know how to insert pictures I whatever. Um, but, uh, I did find out that, uh, they should be having their second child, also a boy sometime this week. Um, I haven't heard anything that they have had the baby, but that doesn't mean they haven't. Um, but theoretically, Monday was supposed to be the day. I don't know. It's Friday. I haven't heard anything. Maybe he's like, I'm good. I'm going to stay in here a while. I don't know. But I <laughs> I was looking around for, for you know, birth record stuff because... Uh, this is me, and of course I want something that's not current. I don't, I don't necessarily want something that's current, so that way it's not likely that they will have seen it. So I'm looking around, looking around, and one of the things I bought, which should go in haul, but since I'm talking about it now, I went ahead and I got this because I had, I did the the cabbage one, the 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 boy one. Um, for my my cousin, my older cousin's first baby. Well, technically only baby, but you know, the first littlest tiny grinder. Um, and then I still have my second cousin's son's birth sampler still here. It's still un FFO'd. I'm very bad at that. It's so one of the few few things that I feel bad not FFOing everything else. I'm just like, it's in a box. It's in my box of pretties. I can grab my pretty box if I need to. <laughs> so I, I eventually will get that put together, blah, blah, blah. Um, but they're totally different. So I was like, I remembered seeing this on online someplace. I was like, oh, that's really pretty. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting to find out what she was going to have because it was like a month before she was due. And I'm like, I don't know what to, I don't know what to stitch. So I tried asking him like, so what kind of names? So like, maybe that would be a clue. And it's finally, I just had to ask, is it, it going to be a little brother or a little sister? It's going to be a little brother right after I pressed <laughs> by now. <laughs> <laughs> right, right after I paid for this off of Etsy. <laughs> oh well, it's real. It's adorable, and I have a feeling that eventually I will find a need for this. I don't know, but yeah. So I have it. Who knows? I may eventually like. I don't know. Anyway, so that's part of stuff and things. <sighs> That, that was part of Hall, but the Hall sort of... Anyway. Let's see. I don't remember if I showed this last time, but this is the, uh, the Dark Tower. I think I worked on this sometime since then. This, this eventually will be my ornament. <laughs> Because I'm going to, I'm using part of, part of this piece as my ornament. It's the first line from the Gunslinger. 
Man in Black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. So there's still more of the hat outline. I had to frog this a bit. Um, and obviously I need to fill this in. I'm using three strands of 310. Oh well. Um, and then I have a little bit of a different... You can kind of see. I can't remember if you saw that or not. But it's this uh, fireworks. It's kind of doesn't really show that well. It's it's a lot more sparkly. Kind of looks like, I don't know, plastic? I don't know. Anyway, I use that for the, uh, the crow because that looks a little more like feathers. But my, and then there's, then there's a rose that's beaded right here. But you can kind of see that there's a, so my plan to do my my ornament is I'm going to do the crow and then I'm going to take the rose and I'm going to move it over so it'll be about, you know, yay big. It's like, that's not really a Christmas ornament. It's my ornament. I want it like that. I want the crow ornament. So I'm going to do that one. Although I am terribly tempted by one of the ones in the Just Cross Stitch ornament 2018 because it's a llama one. <laughs> Llamas. So, uh, one of the other things that I have worked a little bit on, um, one of the things I worked a little bit on was the uh, Peace on Earth Sal. That's the one that Christine Stitch all the things and Sarah Stitchology started. Um, so I got is that same Ada that I got from uh, from eBay. Um, so I got a little bit further on this part of the brickwork, the dark brickwork. Um, uh, Wednesday before last, um, the boyfriend was doing, and he'd been doing, had to, ugh, he'd had to be doing a bunch of, like, overtime. Um, so, like, they would have to, like, stay an hour later each day or whatever, which that's not necessarily a problem or whatever. Um, it's just, it kind of cuts down into the, um, where we, try to go to Plant Fitness and then Denny's afterwards. Um, so we were both kind of tired and it was like 9 o'clock and we're like, let's just go to Denny's. Okay. I'm going to drive over there. Um, so while we waited, I did a little bit of stitching on that. I really like the variegation on its uh, cherry bark. Yeah. So I like the fancy floss with that. Um, I would love to get this done for, I, I, I was thinking about this this morning when I was watching Kenna's latest video. Um, I think this would be a good one to put in um, to the Salem Fair because it's, it's definitely different. Um, it's, sometimes I see this stuff that, that like wins and I'm like, why, why did that? I don't understand. It's it's not any better stitch than this other thing, and this other thing is like more impressive. I don't know. They did not ask me to judge things, so whatever. So, moving more stuff and things around. The thing that I have been working on the mostest, I'm kind of sick of her, is. This is a Fairy 161, and so I am I'm really trying to get done, get her done by uh, November 11th, preferably if I could get her done by 5.11 in the morning, then it will be the actual 100th anniversary, because 11.11 11 a.m. is when they signed the armistice, and that was in France. So I looked up the time difference between France and here, and that's like six hours ahead. So if I, if it's 11, 11 minus six, it's five. 11 minus six is five, cause math. Um, but uh, here is how far I've gotten on her. I have not taken her off the hoop, obviously, cause I'm still working on her. Um, I have been slogging through 310. I, I, 
since last Tuesday. So I got all that. Some more over here and some more of this here and here. And then if I can get the 310 through here and through here, then I will be done with that row of 310. And then, of course, obviously there's some more 310 up here. And let's see, there's 310 here. And there's some more hair here and some more hair that comes in front of her eyes and then her eyes and then over here and of course there's the big poppies so that was my goal was to try to get all of that done by Monday which obviously didn't work not the upper 310 just the middle 310 and then the poppies and um, I got a little sick of 310, so I was like, I'm going to fill in this $37.99 right here, because it'll come up, and he'll go like this, and then I will be done with this little soupy thing. Which, I got like that much not work today. It just seems to take so long. And I swear there's like a dirty patch or something like that. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's the way that the stitches are laying or what, but right here it kind of looks like a smudge. So I may go over that with another length of two strands. I don't know, like just top stitch or something. Because I don't really want to wash it, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the thing that I will, I'll, I'll be working on her in however many minutes after I finish with the recording and then going back to the uh, going back to and going and washing my hands anyway so other things that have happened um, I also finally I guess technically this would also be counted as haul because um, I went and I bought it so therefore mine even though I don't really find any I pretty much lost interest in the Just Cross Stitch, and then I see people talking about, oh, I found this in this magazine. I'm like, you knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Because I kind of feel like, oh, I missed out on so much. You, you're not going to be interested in stitching anything from there. Yes, but I want it now, my precious, I want it. This is the struggle of being me. So anyway... I know I don't have the 2017 one, so I need to get that for my collection. And then, like, I know I've missed out on, like, the Halloween issues, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, that's definitely not the right one. Oh, but this is the llama one. <laughs> this is the one that I'm kind of halfway tempted to do for myself, because they're totally llamas. They are not... They are totally not sheep. They're not sheep. They're llamas. They're totally llamas. Oh my god, they're llamas. Llamas see silent night, holy night. Anyway, I was looking the wrong one. I was trying to show you the one that my sister picked out. Um, which I'm still so bad at, uh, I've not started it yet, but this is the one that she picked out because I I had let her borrow, that's right, I let her borrow the 2015 one, and she still has that one. Um, but I was kind of like poking about like, I don't know what to, what to stitch her. And so this is that same Dove, I guess it's your one? This 28 count, that, that'll be big enough for the, uh, the Christmas stocking. Um, and it only, it only has three colors in there. Cranberry plum and blue green. Which is like, holy crap. It looks like there's more colors. It looks like there's a, a lighter color for the lattice work, but that's just because it's not as concentrated as in the rows. But, uh, so I, I sent her some pictures because she'd said, I asked her, well, what do you want, what do you want for your, Ornament. She's like, I don't know, Christmas tree? I'm like, okay, let's see if I can find an interesting looking Christmas tree. And there is a little Christmas tree in that one. Um, and so I sent her that one, and then I sent her the, the rose stocking one. She's like, ooh, that's pretty. I'm like, okay. 
I was kind of leaning towards that one anyway. So I'm not at all sad that you would like that one. I just have to, I think it'll only take like a day or two. Of course, then the whole, I gotta put it together in an ornament. <laughs> that part is the uh, confuddling one. But I have two, I have actually two, two uh, records that I need to work on. Um, one for my friend who I found this um, very colorful llama one. Um, it's like these little llama motifs and found that on Etsy. And I'm like, do you like this one? She's like, yes, I like this one. I'm like, okay. I have not started on that one. Um, but the other one, um, I got this off of eBay. And I thought it had the hutch. In there with that because if you look on the the cooler website cooler was, anyway um that's k-o-o-l-e-r our design works or something i forget now my brain has gone i don't remember um if you buy the kit off of the website it comes with the blue thing except it's not blue you have to put it together and you have to paint it or whatever which that's not a problem or anything but the pattern itself um has like where the the lines are i think it i can't remember if it's eight or ten stitches i don't know something like that it's like a certain number wide and so i was like you know what rather than um because the the seller offered to have me send it back and they would refund it to me and i'm like you know what because i thought about it for a while um i was like you know what no no, no. i've already paid for this it's already here. You know what I can do? I can, I can, I can make a border. I can totally make a border. So I kind of am thinking maybe like that border that I like, that's on the the castles and the cloud thingies, which it was like, like a, a it's a diamond with a crosshatch type thing, and then it's interconnected with little. With a little ribbon. Ribbon. But I'm not sure how that will work with this. But hey, whatever. I'm not I'm not going to worry about that. Because um, I haven't even started it yet. But eventually that will be done. And that one is going to be for the... That one will be for the tiniest of the tiny grinders. Because another of my cousins is having... Also a boy. And then, what's really funny is, yeah. back here, top coat. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I knocked off the sesh feet. Yeah, no, things are falling all over the place. It's me! So anyway, like, I, three people I know are having babies that are due within, like, six months of each other that I learned about in the space of, like, two weeks. I'm like, what? What is going on? They're all boys! Is there something in the water? <laughs> That's weird. Just a little weird. Oh, I also forgot, which, this is something that I got in a while ago, I can't remember when, but um, it's not really showing up that well on camera, it's, it's darker than it's showing up. It is number four braid in 033. It's not exactly TARDIS blue, but I'm like, ooh, that, yes, I want to use that for the border on this one. Because I had gone in there just to poke around in, in at Yarn Explosion, and I was like, I'm going to go look and see what kind of chronic they have. And so I found that, and then I also found um, 
some petite treasure braid and then another of the um it's a it's, I don't remember if it's thinner or not. Anyway, there was more sparkly stuff that I found. Uh white sparkly stuff. Um the one that the other one I found was like glow and dark or something like that. And I was like, hey, that might be good for the peace on earth. So I got it. Plus I've never used petite treasure braid, so hey, cool. This is the original 060. I have no idea if they still make this anymore. Definitely not enough to do anything with. But I'm like, I can't get rid of it because it's, it's so pretty. Um, but I used that. That was originally supposed to go on this. On that ornament. Which it would have been really pretty. It was, But it was just a bit dark and it just wasn't enough. But I used that for the jewel on my dragon on my dice bag. So, of course, I got some more sparkly stuff because this is me. Um, this one I already had. But, of course, I got some more 032 because, you know, I, I, I like it. And I need to use it for, well, let's just drop everything, why don't we? I just slid right the heck out there. I have no idea where it went to. I will look for it later because, yeah. I was like poking about through their drawers. in these little organizer thingies that have drawers in them. And so this particular one, which I got two of each of these colors. This one is 003. I'm like, that's just a really pretty red. There was something about it, and I could have gotten more of them, because, you know. But, I'm like, there's just something really, really pretty about this. And then, I also got some 008. So, I guess they could be considered, you know, Christmas colors, if you wanted to. If you wanted to go that route. And then of course the beans. They have been they have been here on my on my computer desk because I'm like I'm not laying them out of my sight. I need to know where these are at all times because they took more than six months to get here. But other things that I have gotten, the rest of the things and stuff. Um I don't know if you've heard of her, but Misty Purcell, who is on FlossTube, um, she has an Etsy shop known as Luminous Fiber Arts. And so she has started designing. And at first I was like, oh, that's cool, but I wasn't going to get it. And then I saw it, and I saw it stitched up, and I'm like, oh, I really want that. And then I saw she had, like, an actual, like, cardstock-type pattern. I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that. I want that so much. So yeah. Uh, I, I, I've been I've been very self-controlled not to start this because oh my gosh, this is totally not my normal not my normal style, but is that not adorable? Seriously, is that not adorable? Please disregard that. That did not come that way. Misty did not send that in the mail that way. The tiny men, somehow it got looped under their the top of the cage. And they decided that was great to, to nibble on. But my mom saw it and she was very impressed with it as well. I mean, it's nice cardstock pattern in here. Um, it's a horizontal pattern. Um, so it's printed here and then here the rest of it uh, but spooky october very very nice easy to read um like the the chart itself the chart itself is very easy to read my mom as i said was very impressed with it and she doesn't cross stitch at all so and i was like you know what it's only two dollars more, and I have a feeling she's going to be designing for a while. It was only two dollars more for the for the uh, 
paper pattern. I'm like, you know what? I could get in on, on the ground floor of collecting these. So, yes, even though now it's in my room and now I want to stitch it even more because everybody else is showing their nifty, nifty halloween -y things and I want to play too. And then, like, people have talked about, like, Darktober stitching or Dark October stitching. I like seeing it Darktober. I don't know. I like it. Um, I am going to start on the 13th for for dark stitching. Dark 13 stitching. I am going to start um, Face of the Fairy 235, whatever the next vampire one is. Because, you know, it just makes sense. But I'm only going to do that during the Roanoke Stitcher thingy. Now, I have thingies. Well, now it's all right here. But I have thingies. That is a freebie pattern. And we are not showing that. And my invoice. So... I don't normally, as you all probably know, I don't normally go for the things that a lot of people like, like Carriage House or Plum Street or Prairie Schooler, not Schooner, Schooler. But there was something about this one that I just absolutely, most definitely had to get. And it did not help that Missy Purcell was also stitching this and has finished it and her goats are loaded. But this is goat load. And I've, I've been looking at this for a while and I know why I got this I'm, I'm just joking when I say I don't know why I got it because it's three it's the goats it's the three goats I showed this to my players and they're like oh yes you had to get this so we have, we have Hannah and we have Freya and we have Clarence and they are the the talking and also known as the valuable but ill-tempered, or yet ill-tempered goats. Um, they talk. Um, they're very special goats. They have distinct personalities of their own. Um, they each have bonded with one of the PCs in the game. Um, <laughs> Hannah, um, who is telepathic and prefers to not speak aloud if she can help it, has bonded with our half-orc fighter, who is uh, married to their attendant. Um, she kind of fancies him. And uh, his name is Bastard John Green. And the middle one, who thinks she's in charge, but she's not really in charge, is Freya, who is also known as the Duchess. And I think Mrs. Doubtfire for the voice. Hello! And then you got her. And then we come to Clarence, who is the only billy goat of the three of them. And he's very chill and laid back. Freya, her abilities have to do with our ice based. Clarence, he has a very infectious laugh. And also, he farts fire. So, yes, I had to get goat load. I really want to see. I really want to stitch us. And as the frost tube saying goes, since no chart can go alone, more than luck. Now I know part of this, part of the appeal is the actual fabric that it's on. It's all it's a one page thing, so I'm like, don't show the back. Um but the uh here you go. Uh, it was stitched on 30 count, 10 roof gingham, weak style linen, um, with two strands of DMC. And it's only five DMC regular, and then there's the f variations ones. And there's just something really, really pretty about that. Copper. It's 
copper. Kind of looks red to me. Oh, well. Anyway, so, yeah, that had to come home with me because um, Irish stuff. So back in the folder, they could... Yeah, they, um, the seller that I got them from sent them in a, in a, in a manila folder. And I'm like, that is so cool. That was, that was really pretty cool. And then, um, one of the other, I've gotten a bunch of, uh, a bunch of patterns on, like Etsy and stuff, like the uh, unconventional cross stitch. They have she is <clears throat> Jody Ellis has a uh, a caffeine molecule. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get this and stitch this. Um, which I'm not sure where I put that, but you can't really see that much of it. And then there's another one that is a a, a rainbow heart just with six colors. Um, and then there's two unicorns underneath, which are kind of like indigo unicorns or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I am I totally had to get that because I'm totally going to find some waste canvas and a t-shirt. And I'm going to stitch that when Stranger Things 3 comes out. And so I'm totally going to stitch that while we watch that and eat Eggo waffles. It's a thing. It has to be has to be done. Um, and then another one that I got, which it's no longer on her Etsy store anymore, but if you message her, you can totally, totally get it. Um, it's called Happy Dreams, and it's very colorful. The otter is rich browns, and then the fish is blues and pinks and all kinds of stuff. But that was, you know, <clears throat> black and white printer. And then we come to the really neat portion of the haul. So, back on Labor Day, um, Michelle Bindi Stitchy had a live sale for the Alzheimer's auctions, or the Alzheimer's, to raise money for that. And so, people have been waiting for this. Um, if you didn't know about it, you you missed something quite interesting. Um, at one point, there were like 260-something people watching this. Um, I was down um, at my boyfriend's, and he was he was doing arts and crafts while I was, I was like, me, <laughs> waiting to say me, please. Um, so, like, the first couple things I tried to get, I, I wasn't able to uh, snag because I was just, just a little too slow. And that's okay. It wasn't anything that I was like, oh my gosh, I must have this. And then I finally won something. And I was like, oh, I won something. And I don't know, I think I was thinking like key lime, like key lime pie. <laughs> but no, I won the Bright Needle Key West Sampler. And again, this is not my normal style, but now that I've won it, I have to stitch it. And it's, it's kind of hard to get a good look at it, but it's like you could totally not even worry about the uh, the letters as letters. Because you could only just be like, there's some sort of tropical rune. And like, it's all, it's, I keep, when I look at the chart, I'm like, is that it? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's not that big of a chart. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to see if I can find the dimensions. Oh, 108 wide by 137 high, which falls in the, I think that falls in the, in the guidelines that Darlene Baum, shoot, my brain just totally went. But you know what I mean. Anyway, but the, uh, the floss suggestion I'm like, I have never heard of this thing. It's called Gum Nuts. G-U-M-N-U-T-S stars. Um, on the back, there's nothing here, but you can see. 
I have never heard of that. Huh. Interesting. It's not that old. Um. Okay, maybe it kind of is. It's 2002, 2001, it says. But then it also gives you an anchor and DMC, and it says, use the DMC instead of the anchor, because there's not exact one-to-ones. But it's, it is really pretty. It's got some lovely beachy things to it. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with that, but I have an idea that I want to go, and I want to get like that. There's like a sand linen or something like that, even though I don't use linen, but I think that would be nice, like that you can get at the at at the box stores. At least the last time I looked. And then the last thing that I won is this little house needle works. I think this is my first little house needle works. Um, copyright two thousand seven, uh, designed by Diane Williams, and it is the fruit game boards. And I was thinking that the bottom one was like blueberries because the top one has like strawberries and stuff. But it's like pears. I'm like, that's really pretty. And this was this was just sort of an almost an afterthought, like, oh, I like fruit. I don't know. Maybe I was hungry or something. I don't know. I was like, that's kind of pretty once I looked it up. I'm like, oh, I totally didn't know what I was buying. But the one the one that I'm still chuffed over, quite chuffed, is the one that a lot of people are stitching. I remember the number. It was number 42 in the auction. And something told me to put in me please 42. And she says it. And I'm like, yes, enter. <laughs> is it in there and then I swear mine popped up and then it was a full 30 seconds before the chat just went insane and just went Phew. Uh that was the first time that that did that in the live sale and the only ones that went faster that I personally remember were the three um, lady of the flags which I think 42 people asked for each one of those. Um, but yeah, so I scored. And I got it for the bargain basement price of $25 to the Alzheimer's people. Which I thought that was a steal. I have no idea when I'm going to stitch this. But I really, really want to stitch this now because I keep seeing people. I keep, I keep seeing Pam stitch it and McKenna stitch it. And now my brain has blanked out on who else I've seen stitching it. And there's there's at least one more person that I cannot remember who is stitching it. But somebody else is stitching it, I know. I mean, I know a bunch of people are, but the floss tubers I watch. But yes, without much further ado, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. It's going to be massive. And it will be quite a labor of love. And I kind of think there should be some sort of specialty fiber in each one of these. But I don't think that I will be doing the MPI silks. But maybe maybe some sort of linen thread. Ooh, I think they make linen thread. That would be good for the skeleton. I have time, though. Because I'm not allowing myself to do any Halloween stitching this year. Because I, I have to work on 161. She's looking at me. I see you. She's literally right here on my footstool doing this. I see you. Stop chattering and go wash your hands and post your video and get back to stitching me. Can't argue with her. And at first I was like, I don't get to play with the Halloween stuff, which technically I don't get to play with Halloween stuff. But if you think about it, She's kind of a commemorative piece for World War I. And if you think about it, that's kind of dark material. So, yeah. Um, so, my plans... I really don't have many plans. Um, my plan is to continue working on 161 as much as I can. Um, I may start the ornament 
for my sister. Probably not myself yet. But I may start my sister's ornament and maybe work on my mom's ornament. I don't know. Um, and I definitely will be starting 2.35 on Saturday. Hopefully Saturday. I hope. I hope. Maybe Halloween? I don't really know. Anyway, I will be starring her, but I'm only giving you going to give her a limited amount of time. And yes, I just looked at the time and I'm like, holy crap, I'm almost 50 minutes in. Yes, I chatter and I was really trying to stay on target. Anyway, so I know I will be starring her and I know I will be putting at least some of the stitches into the November Guardians. But other than that, I really don't have any plans, which this is just weird for me to do this much mono stitching. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, try to upload this and hopefully the rain will go away so I can go to work tomorrow because I forgot to bring my stupid laptop charger and I don't know if the laptop is well, compatible. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go. Um, I'll talk to you all, all, talk to you all later. Okay, bye.